Hi, I'm Marcy Larizade and I'm an architect. The texture that I would like to nominate as part of the Texture in London series is tiling as it appears on the underground. For Londoners, the tube is a central part of our life in the city and key to our visual and sensual experience of the tube is its tiling. Tiling is a material that unifies the complex structures and roots. It provides human scale and grade to an environment that at times can feel frenetic and vast. What's wonderful about the tile, however, is that it's a robust, humble and affordable material that can amazingly be elevated to great heights. It can somehow absorb the messiness of advertising, services and structure. It can inform and direct. And best of all, it can enhance the life of staff and commuters as they pass through. Tiling can be a single repeated unit used to create endless patterns. It can be cast in relief, screen printed and tessellated in fragments to dematerialise a surface. It can be mass produced, but somehow still retain the quality of the handmade. In the early Leslie Green stations, it was used to provide a recognisable brand for the first 50 stations on the network. From the iconic Oxblood arches on the streets, the shimmering green ticket halls, down to the more stripped back brick tiles on the deep platforms, tiling is the one material that defines all the spaces. It's a texture woven into the journey, used as both decoration and wayfinding. The later Charles Holden stations are more pared down, but still include these beautiful moments, these glazed relief tiles by Harold Stadler, depicting famous London landmarks and the counties served by the tube. But I guess, most importantly for me, the tiling allows the integration of art within the very fabric of the environment, whether it's catching a glimpse of the recessed motifs on the Victoria line that tell you where you are on your journey, to the more generous mosaic commissions of the 80s. The most spectacular use of tiling on the tube must surely be the Paolozzi murals on Tottenham Court Road. Here, the simple tile was used to realise this alphabet of images in technicolour glory on the central line and monochrome on the northern. In my opinion, no other single texture can capture the experience of travelling through the city at any speed knowing exactly where you are. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the tile.